Hey everyone, we bought two Twin XL Purple Hybrid 3 mattresses and these are Split King setup on a Split King adjustable base. Uh, one of the big issues we found is the gap is huge. It's about three to four inches wide. Uh, we had the original Purple mattresses and those one worked pretty well. They lined up next to each other, but when you move to the Hybrid series, they're a lot more rounded up on the top and so they don't sit flush and so it creates a nice big gap. Um, we did buy a few different products to fix this issue. So we bought this gap filler and I'll put the links in the description. Uh, that just kind of little wedge, it just goes in the center of the bed and that works really well. And then we also bought this bed binder, um, kind of a softer tart material. It does change the way the mattress fills a little bit, but not much. You just want to make sure you put a sheet over this. Um, or else, yeah, it's not going to be the most comfortable thing to sleep on. Um, and however, we're probably going to return that portion just because we have these side retaining bars on our, on our adjustable frame and they go in the corner and on the side. So it keeps the mattresses nice and pushed together where the bend binder is definitely more to, you know, keep them from uh, sliding apart and making that gap bigger. All right. So I put the purple sheets on. It's just a single king bottom sheet, um, but it keeps the this gap insert in really well, and it also helps push the mattresses uh, together a little bit more. Um, and we still maintain full adjustability on either side, so I'll show you. Let's raise one side up. What's nice about these purple sheets is they're super breathable. You still get a, the fill of your purple mattress. They require very stretchy sheets or else the, the cell technology or whatever they call it does not compress right. Um, and then also when they're fully adjusted, the sheets just kind of conform since they're really stretchy. And when you push on the sheet, there's zero resistance. So. We tried it with some other basic cotton sheets and you know, the sheet was coming out like this and when you push on it, it didn't really push in. With these, like there is zero resistance at all. It just goes right in so it's still very comfortable. And that's with the bed fully adjusted up on both sides. We don't ever even go this high. So this is kind of an extreme example and it still works great. Uh, so this is what I would recommend. Um, so you could either do just the gap and the single king sheet, but if you're having issues with your mattress spreading apart, definitely get that bed binder and that will help keep your beds together. Or you could go the cheap route and just get some L brackets and or retainer bars and just drill them into the side of the bed. Um, and that way, you know, you don't have to worry about a bed binder and then the possibly changing the way your bed fills. Anyways, feel free to post any questions in the chat and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks.